Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, today we're going to be making this Sloppy Joe mix, and this recipe comes to you from Jennifer Bands, a low-carb recipe with Jennifer. From her original recipe, all I just did was change things up a little bit. So what you're going to need for this particular recipe is one and a half pounds of ground beef, one tablespoon of McCormick Montreal seasoning, and then we used a two bell peppers that I had previously chopped and used a uh, from a leftover that I had from before. I used an uh, orange uh, pepper and a bell pepper on a green pepper and then a half an onion. And then I got everything going with a little bit of butter and a uh, little bit of avocado oil. And then I fried up my ground beef and then I added the uh, Reyes uh, marinara sauce and I used that instead of the uh, tomato sauce and the tomato paste. And maybe I used about a cup, a little over a cup probably, and then I used a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar and some Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of each, and of course uh, salt and pepper to taste. And then I ended up putting it on this uh, egg life wrap, and this came out really, really good. So without further ado, if you just follow me along in the next step processes, you'll be fine, and then we'll come back and talk about it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. So what I got going on here, guys, I added a tablespoon of butter in the frying pan and cranked up the stove to high, and then I'm adding a little bit of olive oil just to give it a really good flavor. And once you get the butter in, the olive oil cranked up, I added the uh, bell peppers and the onion and it was a little freezer burn on my peppers, and I just, I just wanted to kind of use them up a little bit. And then I'm adding a little salt and pepper to, uh, to bring out the flavor in the... Uh, peppers, onions, and I'm using pink Himalayan salt for this particular um, uh, recipe that I used. To change things up, instead of using the uh, traditional uh, tomato sauce and diced tomatoes and tomato paste, I ended up using the marinara sauce from this Reyes company with a very, very great product and the macros on the back, as you can see, are very, very clean. Now that the onions and peppers are all cooked and ready to go, why don't we add the ground beef, and today we use the 2080 ground chuck, and I'm just showing the demonstration how much I paid for it a pound. They've got a very good price on this, and uh, yeah, so just open up the package, and we're gonna put it in and get going on the uh, ground beef. It was a little bit uh, still frozen, so what I ended up doing was just kind of like working in gradually as I was continuing on to the uh, overall recipe. Moving right along, now that that ground beef is almost all cooked there, we're going to start adding in our uh, dry ingredients. We added about a tablespoon of this Montreal steak uh, seasoning, and that's really flavorful. I recently bought it and didn't know if I liked it or not, and I really absolutely love this on my steaks and on my ground beef. It gives it a really great flavor. And then I added a little bit of salt and pepper to taste there. I just gotta be careful on the spices right now because I'm having a lot of problems with acid reflux. And uh, yeah, so I just uh, eyeballing how much I was putting in. And once I got everything all cranked up, then I added about a cup of the uh, Reyes sauce. And then I added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and just a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. And I was just eyeballing what I thought maybe a tablespoon uh, should have been. When I create a lot of these recipes there, I'm just eyeballing a lot of times because I've made these recipes so many times. And uh, yeah, so let's continue on with the cooking process. Oh, 
What I'm doing here, guys, once I get all the uh, green eases in, I turn down the stove a little bit there to about a medium heat, and then I'm just mixing it all up with the uh, mixing spoon that I'm big use, the big spoon that I'm using, and uh, to incorporate everything and to get all the good, awesome flavors that came out of this particular recipe. Now, uh, yeah, so uh, why don't we just continue on and, uh, you know, follow me along, guys, with the uh, process over here. And like I said, you guys are doing terrific. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming along on my journey. And let's uh, keep going with the cooking process. And to keep this low carb down to a minimum on calories, uh, we're going to be using these egg life wraps. And I absolutely love these. They're really, really uh, low carb and they're basically just eggs. And you get these at Walmart, Aldi's, and a few stores. Hannaford sells them. And, um, you know, I haven't seen them in the uh, local market basket yet. But, uh, yeah, so why don't we just keep, continue on? Well, uh, Sloppy Joe mixes complete and what I ended up doing I ended up taking two egg life wraps and I ended up making them in, I ended up making them into a, a burrito type sandwich and they came out really really good and uh, of course the meaning of sloppy joe is exactly what it means a sloppy joe so I ended up uh, spilling it all over my nice brand new clean shirt that I put on this morning and uh, yeah just a uh, word of caution if you use an egg light perhaps you might want to use a fork so i ended up using a fork and after i rolled it over into a burrito and you and uh as you can see i'm just trying to roll, get it to a some type of a shape where i can eat it without making a mess and i ended up making a mess anyways but there you have a final product and this came out really good right guys what I ended up doing with the leftover, I ended up putting it into a Ziploc bag, into a plastic container. I forgot to show you that part. And uh, what I'm going to do with the leftovers, make a lasagna using the same egg like wraps on a separate video. And be watching for that particular video coming up in a, to a uh, theater near you, which hopefully another day or two. And again, don't forget to support Jennifer over there at Low Carb Recipes with Jennifer. And don't forget to support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And again, thank you so much for following me along my weight loss journey and these awesome recipes. Have a great day, guys.